another uh, SQL command that we can use with MySQL, and we can still do it through the PHP MyAdmin SQL interface, is the update command. So here's our uh, products table. We had just inserted a Boston lettuce record into our products table. Now let's say that we've realized that, well, we made a mistake. This was the wrong kind of lettuce, the wrong price, the wrong skew, even the description was wrong. The only thing that was really correct was the, our category ID. So let's make the change to that. Up at the top, we're going to, again, go to the SQL tab. We'll wipe out everything that's inside there and start from scratch. We're going to use the SQL update command. So update is the first keyword. Following the word update, we have to put the name of the table that we're going to be updating. So update products, next keyword is set. Following that, we just list the things that we're going to change. Now at the very end of this, we do need to specify which of the products we're going to update. I can list off a whole bunch of things to change, but unless I specify which record I'm changing, I'll end up changing the entire table. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to use product ID, which is my primary key. That means every single row in the table is a unique number, a unique value. So I know if I specify that I want to update product ID 5, it is only that row which I'm going to be updating. Alright, so update products set. Now what are the things we want to change? Well, we said that we wanted to change product name. That's going to be, let's say, iceberg lettuce instead of Boston, comma, product price equals, now we don't need quotation marks because this is a number. With strings and dates, we need quotation marks. With any kind of numbers, we don't. We can put them and it won't hurt anything, but we don't need them. So let's just say it's $1.19. Another comma going on to the product skew. And this is a char 9, meaning it's 9 characters long and it is a character, so a string. Let's say it was going to be uh, PLT123999. There we go. That is nine characters long. Uh, category ID does not need to change. And the last thing was the product description. That we are going to change to say this is still lettuce. There we go. Okay, so update table name set. Then we list all the columns setting a new value for each one that we want to change. Category ID didn't change, so we didn't need to have it in this list. Product ID didn't change, so we didn't need to have it in this list. And at the very end, we need to specify the filter. This is very important. We must specify which record or records we're going to change. Without this, I would change every single record in the table to have these values. All right, so we go over to the right hand side here, click the go button, and there we go, affected rows 1, browse through it, and there it is, there's the changes we made, iceberg lettuce, new price, new product SKU, category ID still 8 hasn't changed, and the product description is this is still lettuce. So that's the update command.